The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of the Black Lincoln Collective, its guests, or decent human beings. You have been warned. The robot revolution will begin in 3, 2, 1. They blow your butt up? Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Alive. It's alive. It's alive. Welcome to the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'll make it fun. With your host, Parker. Featuring the sultry sounds of Fred and also Alan on the board. Let's go already! And now, let's start the damn show. <laughs> welcome, welcome, one and all, to the 72nd edition of the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. I am so happy that you joined us tonight, or today, or this morning, or last night, whatever it is. Whatever. Uh, Thanks, Ken, really joined us last night. But you know what I mean. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm your host, Parker, and of course, I am joined, as always, by your co host, Freddie. And Alan on the board. What's going on, fellers? What's, what's up, up? What's up? What's, what's up? up? What's up? What's, what's up? up? So, so, did you guys know? The, uh, uh, so, okay, uh, uh, we're already no, derailing no, this shit. No, there's no, 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 it's not anything racist for once. No, 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 no. It's like no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, there's this kid in my, you know, I have a four year old kid, and uh, there's this little girl named like Asayaki or something that goes to school with him, <laughs> but he doesn't. They call her Yaki for short. Yeah, because I mean that makes sense. Like you know, you have mm-hmm. long name and short name. And it's cute. Yaki's a cute name, but Nate doesn't know. He he doesn't know what Yaki means. He knows what teriyaki is <laughs> because he enjoys teriyaki chicken. <laughs> and so every time I see him, he'll be like, "Oh, there's teriyaki," <laughs> and I'm like, "Son, you don't know what you're like. You're already starting yourself off. This is not a good good call on your part." Hey, get it, honest. Look it's funny Danny. though. Like, <laughs> like, it's, funny to me. Like, I mean, like, it's not mean or anything. It's just that's what he calls her. Yeah, it reminds me of your Wei Lin story. Your Wei yeah, Lin story. Well, we have a lot of those down, <laughs> down here. Yes, but like, and, and like the teachers at school, are like it's the cutest thing because he calls her teriyaki. And I'm like, I, feel like I feel like don't tell her parents that that's what. Yeah, that for real. I don't want to go like already have enemies. The school secret. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want the Yakuza breathing down my neck. <laughs> so, so welcome to the show. Like I said, this is where we started five minutes ago. Uh, but yeah, so we got a big show for you tonight, Fred. I know, I know you. I don't know how you did this, but you pulled. You managed hey. to pull. Arguably the biggest celebrity we've ever had on the show. Hey, dude, I know people. I'm just saying, I know people, so you're, I, I you're can get in touch yourself. with. Yeah, I am a walker. <laughs> <laughs> I also walk or walk allegedly. <laughs> <Pretty walking. laughs> so, so yeah, we'll get. Uh, we'll get. Yeah. What would I guess he was? What Senate? Uh, he was a Senate, Senate candidate. He was candidate. a candidate. Yeah. Republican yeah. Senate, Senate candidate. Yeah. candidate. Yeah, Herschel Walker from Georgia Herschel will be on the phone mm-hmm. any minute now. Whenever he comes in, Georgia. but in the meantime, Fred. Yeah, I have to address something that's going on and it's bugging me oh. and i why is everybody dying all of a sudden like why are dude, all there's so many dying, people man? dying dude like we have so of course alley every day it's somebody oh, it feels like somebody now. new is man. that the celebrities are getting older and we just don't know the young ones that die like dude like i said i didn't know she was she like was 71 72 yeah now. she yeah. was already in her 30s when she was on cheers well yeah you know yeah. that's Stop incredible it. bro she was high. She was. She, day, I was in love with ten well, year old me. You know, yeah, kids don't know that. And so, like, I th- I felt like back in the day with like Cheers because everybody watched Cheers, mm-hmm. uh, or you know that was back when you didn't really have a choice. But um, I was I always thought you were either uh, Team Kirstie Alley or Team the blonde woman whose name I can't remember now. Uh, oh, I can't remember. You know, you know, Diane. About, um, Diane. Yeah, you were either Diane, Diane yeah, or, Diane, or who's yeah. the other girl. And she was Kirstie Alley played Diane, right? No, no, the other girl played Diane. Yeah, and, uh, okay. I can't remember who Kirstie Alley was. Yeah, Sam and Sam and Diane was the Sam, it was like the love. Was yeah. the big love interest? You know what I'm saying? 
Um, dang, I can't remember her name. Was it Shelly Allen or something like that? No. Uh, uh, oh, we got this shit up right quick. Sorry, I know, we're, yeah, we're like doing a great oh, job. Yeah. Oh, we're Rebecca. just uh, taking Rebecca some Howell, time. What's her name? Rebecca, yeah, that's what yeah. it was. So I Rebecca. and yeah, I always I kind of I kind of sided on the Kirstie Alley side. Yeah, yeah, I was a Kirstie Alley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I just yeah. like Kirstie Alley because she had a she had an attitude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and Diane was so like uptight. Yeah, you know I, mean? like, she I know was that was the whole thing. Yeah. It had to be that, but it was yeah. just like that's not like that's not the type of girl I want. She was all prudish, right? Dear Prudence, yeah, I like. So she I like passed her. away. Uh, was it Jason Frank? Jason Deb Frank, the White Power Ranger, passed away. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just passed, and or was he the White? I guess he was a Green Ranger first, and then he became. Yeah, a White he was. Ranger. Yeah, he was. Well, yeah, he was a Green Ranger. And so I happened to catch today. He has one last movie coming out, and he essentially plays a Power Ranger in it. It's called <laughs> Legend of the White Dragon, and like really? it's a five minute trailer where they basically go through the entire movie. But he <laughs> has like the, there's like a White Dragon crystal, and this is, I don't I, I don't know how I can give you spoilers off of a White trailer. Dragon, crystal. yeah. So like they're like these guys in like suits, like in like biker suits, like but modern, you know, like future Halo esque right. Master Chief suits, you know. And uh, so they're like, oh, we got to fight this guy. We found him. We finally <laughs> found him. And like, you know, it's a guy, like just a guy. And he like beats them all up. And they're like, we need you to fight for us. And he's like, well, <laughs> why? And they're like, because your daughter's still alive. Oh, and no. And he like whips his, his mask or his fucking hood off. And he's like, I was a Power Ranger once. <laughs> do, or do, something do, like do, that. Do. And then they're like, here's the white, here's the white dragon crystal. And as soon as he does it, he turns into a fucking Power Ranger. Like, there's no, there's no other thing. And I wonder if that is what drove him to kill himself. The white dragon. Himself, R.I.P. <laughs> I oh thought you couldn't God. catch the white dragon. Did he Did he top himself for real? <laughs> I believe yeah. so. Yeah. 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 Dang, so. That's, the, that's, that's what they say. Being a Ranger, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> great power ranger comes great. The great power ranger comes great. Responsibility. Okay, because if you say that, one of us is gonna die because somebody dies every time they say it. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good news, that's my, that's my uncle Ben. Well, none of us have power or responsibility. There you so, go. well, we have responsibility. We don't have any power, so we're my man out. from uh, Sesame Street died. Bob. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Bob, these are old man. people, man. You know, come yeah, on, yeah, old, you know, these are people that yeah. we, you know. Jason David Frank true. wasn't old. Who? The guy from what's his name? The guy from uh, what's his name? No, the Power Ranger. The Ranger. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 I mean, he, you know, unfortunately, you know, he killed himself. You know, so that's right. yeah. yeah, yeah. The alley had cancer, and the dude from Sesame right. Street was just old. Was just old. Yeah, yeah, he was old. You know, he was Tommy. I know. And of course, this is like when my kids get into the Rangers is when <laughs> one does one. Yeah, Jason David Frank. When he takes a, <laughs> takes the hit. That's when they're like, "Ooh, Power Rangers!" <laughs> I always liked it in, when they would have the names. They would be like Saber to Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a lot of people who are listening to this because they're probably in our age range didn't watch Power Rangers growing up, right? Right. And I didn't watch it growing up. I watched it when I was already basically grown up. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, it was reruns, man. Dude, because it was awesome. It was so cheesy. Yeah, I yeah. We we started. I think I watched it once because I, I used to party a lot, and yeah. uh, I woke up like one night. It was like two in the morning, and it was on. And I was uh, like, what the hell is that? You know, and it it was just weird, dude. Like, <laughs> it remind Power Rangers reminded me of the old Godzilla movies. Yeah, well, that's what it was. Because so what they did is all the action scenes and all the fighting right. were shot in Japan. <laughs> So, like, all of it was shot in Japan when it was really, I think it's either Japan or Korea, when it was originally made. Yeah. So, they would, what they would do is they would take, they'd go to, like, Brazil or here to the States or wherever yeah. and cast people to do the acting parts. And just use the so fight why, scenes? So, those are right, really old right. fight scenes? Well, they're no, they're just from a show that... I mean, it wasn't like an old show. Yeah, it was just from a show that wasn't the show. So they would splice <laughs> yeah, we them in. watched. Yeah, yeah. And then they would have to dub over all the the voices when they were, you know, doing their talking or like, yeah, what's up? let me get you. <laughs> and that's why they're like so cheesy because they were all dubbed, and so like that's why you never noticed like they so were like Rita. Them, like, Rita was yeah. never like a real. No, Rita was somebody else, and they she just was. she was just dubbed. 
Yeah. You notice that's why like all of them had masks and mouth had never moved. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was all dubbed over, man. Like you couldn't and that's what made it funny though, is you're like, this is, yeah. this is funny. But Come they on, made but then they Anderson. would have they would hire a bunch oh, of white kids. Money off of that shit. Right. Oh, they, and they, still are. they made a killing. They made a killing. Yeah, they're, they're still power making power them. Every yeah. Every week another Power Ranger show comes out. <laughs> it's like 32 sets of Power There's, Rangers. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, kids, and and the monsters were hilarious. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because again, they were like, it was a sh- kid show, you know? And yeah, like, yeah. Just, you know, for everybody else. It's ridiculous, man. Yeah, it's so funny. But it was so well. That's just it. You watch it now, and you're like, I appreciate that. That was kind of comically funny. Yeah, it was yeah, never yeah. good. Right, but right, still, right. Uh, but the Green Ranger was a badass. Yeah, when he showed up, he was by far because the Red Ranger was always the coolest. White, the White Ranger though, he had that little flute. Well, so, say, so he, he went a little Green piccolo Ranger turned into the White Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, man. that was what it was is they had the mix and he had a freaking dragon and i'm like that's bad I like a yeah yeah <laughs> i was like he's got a godzilla and i don't this is the best part of the show by far yeah it's, they it's never terrible. they never could fight like individually no no like that's you know totally somebody works, in man. their tiger resort or no, you know what i'm saying they could no, never it, it, yeah it was like it was like voltron <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, to I win, Ultron. they had to all come together. Oh yeah, but I think that's what team. it was. Was like yeah. I watched Ultron when I was growing up. So like the mm-hmm. the thought of like oh these gigantic robot you know fucking warriors yeah come was, together yeah, and make one big together. robot. Ooh, and did you see the new Transformers uh, trailer? <sighs> no, I haven't, dude. I okay, it's, the, the, it's the like one with the beasts. Yeah, yeah, beast. it's like yeah. oh yeah, beast it's got like the wild thing. Yeah, like, yeah, dude, that He's was cool. The, like. What was that transformer that was like the the bad guy transformer? There was the good guys were the dinosaurs, the, the Dinobots. Dinobots, the Dinobots, yeah, right. And then the bad guys were like that construction crew, yeah, Constructicons, um, Constructicon, yeah, dude, that that was bad. No, it was the, Destructicons. No, it wasn't Decept- the Decepticons was. and well, Autobots. Decepticons were the bad guys. But yeah, but they had like was, subgroups. They had like uh, subgroups, right. like the they construction. Bots were the Destructicons. Yeah. Just yeah, so they, could, know, they couldn't take on the GoBots. Right. The GoBots. Yeah. Oh, Go man. Oh, man. <laughs> Yet another show that Go was bots. originally, a, well, actually, that one was originally a toy in Japan. And then they, yeah, they made a show a about it. around the toy. Yeah, which is yeah. awesome. GoBots. So, yeah, it's, I don't know, man. There have been. Same thing, same thing happened with He Man. Yeah, yeah. They, be, they built the story right. around the toy. Yeah, <laughs> let's mm-hmm. figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It worked. Yeah, it man. worked man. Oh yeah, it really did, man. Oh, they still man. got them Skeletor memes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until next time. Well, and then there's a new He-Man right. series out too because uh, Kevin Smith had something to do with it. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah it then people said it was it, woke. It, no, it wasn't woke. It just sucked. It wasn't yeah, He-Man. Okay. I don't know. What He-Man? Well, I no, guess it wasn't he He-Man. Was, like it focused more on like the ladies of. Well, they killed He Man in the first episode. Really. Yeah, they did. They did. Really? So it was like, you know, I mean, it was Masters of the Universe. It wasn't oh, He Man. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the cartoon. Yeah. No, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I did see that. I did see yeah. that. Yeah. I think I watched the first season of it. It was okay. That yeah. just had one season. But they did. Yeah, they did. They did kill him. They killed He Man. It was like, oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, man. man. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Like, that's not what I tuned in. You guys freaking leading, killing the headline. Like, that is not what I tuned in. I came yeah, to I didn't, come to, I didn't pay to see He Man. Or see him do the thing, He-Man. you know, by the power of like, wow. And like, yeah. <laughs> that's my shit right there, man. You get you fired up every time. Speaking yeah. of fired up, Fred, Uh-oh. I am fired up, Fred. You're fired up. Uh oh. Fired up. I'm mad. Mad as hell. I'm going to call out a local business that's not that local and tell them, I'm pissed off at them. And if I'd have known what I was about to get into, I wouldn't have even done it in the first place. Fred, mm. I went. There's a place called Charleston Sports Pub in downtown Greenville. Yeah. As of last week, they had a special on for 50 cent wings at lunchtime. Oh, 50 cent wings is a good deal. That's a great deal. In today's cli- political climate, 50 cent <laughs> wings, great deal. Yeah, but, you know, it's recession proof. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody had a 10 cent wings. Oh. Well, yeah, I know, right? Or like yeah. quarter wings. I remember that. Yeah. yeah, now I like it. So me and like a group of people from work go. 
Mm. And like, so we went last week, you know, it was great. You know, 15 bucks, got 20 wings, left a good mm. tip, got a water to drink. Cause that's how we roll. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and so like we went this week and the, the waitress was very like, just didn't give a shit about it. Which is, that's fine. I don't care about that. It's right. lunchtime. They were dead. They're yeah. always dead. So like that's where Wild Wings used to be, just so you know. In case oh, you know, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, people in Greenville and, and no one else. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> so we're like in there, you know, everything. We get the wings. I'm like, you know, 20 wings here, spicy, whatever. And uh, we go through the whole process, the whole rigmarole. And at the end, she's like handing out checks. Got a thirty-six dollar check. Ooh. Thirty-six dollars, friend, for one person. And I said, "What is going on?" And I said, "Wait a minute, what? what what's the fifty-cent wing deal?" She's like, "We're not what happened doing that to anymore. the wings." <laughs> and she's like, "We don't do that anymore." I'm like, "You did it like on Friday," and she's like, "Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was hey, the last day. <laughs> pay the money." Well, they didn't, but I was like, "Dude," so I, it pissed me off. I, you know, I obviously paid it, uh, but it was one of those things where I'm like, "Why would you not?" I, so I have to ask you. This is what I'm. I'm mad about it, yeah. but I need to know if I'm mad for the right reasons or not. Okay. If you were a server, and I know Fred, you've done been a server before. Yeah. And you knew that motherfuckers were only coming up in here 50 cent wings every day. I'm and not like, telling you shit. You're not telling me shit. Either. I'm not no, telling you nothing. You wouldn't say that if everybody ordered that. <laughs> but see, I think that would be you should have asked. You, you oh, should have right, been like, hey, right. no. do, do y'all right still got that. the. You're right about that. I agree with you on that. I when after the fact, I was like, "Yeah, we probably should have asked." Yeah, you should have verified. We did last time. See, that's the thing was we did last. So did time. did they did they have a sign the first time you saw it or no? Because it was like a rewards club deal. It was like a special. So we figured it must have been only for like November or something. Yeah, yeah. But I was oh, like, okay. damn, man, I said uh, that just hit me hard. And the wings were for fifty cents. The wings were fucking great, friend. Pretty good. They were, no, they were great for fifty cents. Delicious each. for fifty six dollars. Like for thirty for cents a thing. So if you get something for like a good deal, like I said, those wings getting twenty wings for ten bucks. I was yeah, like, these, are, these are fucking great. I, I that don't is like a good deal. Ever. But then when I got it for thirty six, I was like picking everything apart. I'm like they were overcooked, <laughs> fucking dry. They were too wet. Same time, <laughs> under salted, over seasoned. Over seasoned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and the plate was too small. There you go. Didn't get enough ranch. Didn't even have ranch. That's not the point. The celery was limp. Celery, <laughs> she dropped one of my celery. Limp celery. She did. She dropped one of the celeries, and she was like, oh, sorry about that. And I was like, I didn't come here for the celery. Had I known <laughs> it was $36, I would have been like, I'm here just for the celery. I'm going to eat all that <laughs> celery. I mean, yeah, I'm like, give me extra, extra celery. I'm taking this plate for home. Extra sauce on the wings. You can keep the bones. The business is going to close in hours. They're probably already closed <laughs> because, like, they charge yeah, me for extra the... sauce on the wings, Fred. Extra can't do that. So- what? All, yeah, because I was like, make sure they're saucy. You know, like I like some saucy. <laughs> yeah, well, <I'm> saucy <laughs> wings. Hey, well, because last time, the first time I went, they were dry. Like they were <laughs> legitimately, they were under tossed. Yeah. I was like, I won't make that mistake again. And they're like, ha ha, you'll make a worse mistake than that, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you so you agree as a server, had you known, knowing yeah. that people, I mean, there were five of us and like all of us were just like, I want six. Maybe wings, she thought, wings. hey, these guys must really like the, our wings since they're about to pay now. full price. I don't now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the thing. Is I was like, "Damn, man!" Like, got your way. Thirty-eight dollars is a lot of money for twenty weeks. I'm sorry, that's two dollars a week. That is a lot. Essentially. So, oh, yeah, that's a lot. all right, I'm gonna go stew in my anger for a little while. <laughs> we'll take a quick break and come right back with more of the Black Link Collective. <laughs> chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog macaroni. The Black Lincoln Collective podcast will return after a word from our sponsors. Nothing's coming through here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. If it does, like, nobody's going to admit to it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right. That's the thing. Yeah. So, yeah, A we'll talk. Senator from South Carolina, where did you see the Hunter Biden video? You speak <laughs> of? I, uh, uh, not Grinder. <laughs> exactly. They, nobody going to say Pornhub. Yeah. yeah. No, that's true. Well, I was such a dude. Uh, Wikileaks. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for corn. See, we are down here in the South. We are all farming people. I was looking for cornhub.com. And I guess I slipped my finger over to the P on accident. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know. And then Hunter Biden showed up. <laughs> That's why and I'm I here was, today. I kept scrolling through, scrolling through. Where is the corn? Scrolling, yeah. I said, I don't these, see the corn. These corn cops don't have any kernels on them. I am very confused by this. Is it, is it past the harvest season? <laughs> I've never seen this black kind of corn that grows so large. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back to the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. I am so excited to get you guys onto this new up and coming Senate candidate from Georgia. It's a young man <clears throat> we'd love to have on the show anytime. And so he came on for us. Welcome to the show. Oh, but in spite of the fact that the election's over, by the way, but that's <laughs> not either there. So let's welcome to the show, everybody, studio audience, give a big round of applause for Mr. Herschel Walker. <laughs> Hey, 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 guys. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. Uh, what, what would you like us to call you? Uh, uh, you call me Hurston. My, my friend called me Hurston. You call me Hurston. Okay, Hurston. Uh, All right. Yeah, Herson. you can call me Hurston. Well, Herson, how y'all, uh, how y'all thank you so much good. for joining us. I appreciate you taking time out of the busy oh, uh, yeah, you man. Know, busy, campaigning busy. schedule. I tell you, they got me running, boy. I ain't running this much. Playing football. When I played football, I was, you, know, right, you know, did play football now. That in I the in that. the state of Georgia, I played football. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I did. I played football. And that's why you're uh, now uh, running for Georgia Senate, right? Georgia, I'm football. running for. I'm gonna be in so, the house. I'm I'm in the house, baby. So how did it feel to not win? I did. I would. Just, I, I'm, I'm still. You know, I'm out here telling people to vote. You got to get out. Get out there and vote. But he already for me, Herschel Walker. I, I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows. Football okay. in Georgia, that's why I yeah. played. Okay. I so uh Go Dogs. I'm just gonna call you the, the goal line stalker if that's okay, because that was one of your nicknames. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm, I'm stalking that line. Stalking the goal line. Like the, <laughs> I stalk like that a line. vampire stalking like the people like, oh, like, like, oh, oh, nah, nah, I, I I'm down with the werewolves now. I, that's a, right. I forgot your team werewolf. I'm your a team I'm Jacob. a like it. I'm a like it. That's Team Jacob, right, Alan? <laughs> Fred was here. He would know. Yeah, Fred would know. <laughs> yeah. I was it Team Jacob or Team Edward? Yeah, Jarrell Edward, would know. Edward's, uh, yeah. Edward is That's the... Uh, football. Edward's a vampire, right, Hirsch? Yeah, right. Edward, right, goal line stalker? Edward, Edward Cruz. We call him Ted. That, <laughs> yeah, that's my buddy. I love that guy. <laughs> you see his hair? Hoo-wee. I do, yeah. I love it. That's a pretty hell, that boy. I tell you, Herschel Walker, football, <laughs> all Georgia, from all Georgia. Yeah, yeah. didn't you play for the Cowboys? Cowboys and, and the Eagles, and, That's and, right. and you Indians. live in you live in ten, in Texas still, right? And the Spacemen, Herschel Walker, Herschel Walker. I played football, football. Well, uh, okay. So, do you have anything you want to tell the people or to our thousands and millions of listeners around the world? Mr. Yeah, Walker, I'm just so. telling you, get out there and join. I got this runoff. With with uh, uh what's his name? War, warlock. I gotta I'm gonna what beat this fuck? warlock because I don't like wizards. <coughs> well wizards. Oh Lordy hey, hey, hey. Somebody call Warlock? Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Satan oh. has joined the show, ladies and gentlemen. Herschel Walker and Satan on the black hey, right. Ah, uh, this is good, Satan. Uh you gotta you got my soul. Still. Tight it cause cause you know you're gonna help me win this. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I sold it to you now. You got to give me what you owe now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you, the, the lesson. Oh shit, I <laughs> forgot about that. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh yeah, I'll, I'll take care of that. I'll, you know it, Hurst. Okay now, nah, cause yeah, yeah, I, know. So, I mean I got, I got some eyes, man. I got so, a lot of money riding on this. Man, oh, yes. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got a, a, a lot of money on fan dude. I bet on myself to win okay, the um, election. So you got oh, to the yeah, um, pay what you owe on the election. Okay. Uh, um, you know, I'll be right back. I, I was in the FBI. That's right. So I, you were I walking through the range. I got friends in, in places. <laughs> I ain't no. 
<laughs> he just he just keeps going, doesn't he? Alan? I'm, I know. He just keeps on talking. I, I know. Him. I know. BS will make an appearance in Dick Walker. Walk. What do you think about Fifty Cent Wings? Oh, I like Fifty Cent Wings. I like Missy Elliott Wings. I like Eminem's Wings. I, I tell you, they're delicious. Have you had uh, Eminem's mom spaghetti in Detroit yet? I, I, I had. I, I went up there because. I do. It was, it was, it was it's near Georgia. It was vampire. It's a big breeding ground for vampires in sure, Detroit City. Sure. So and then we got hungry. I, I had some of my mom's spaghetti. I had. I dropped some on my sweater, and I was like, "Look, spaghetti on my sweater, mom's spaghetti." <laughs> okay. Thank okay. You. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, Don't so. Press the ball. <laughs> you don't have anything else to say. I'm, I think we're we're gonna uh, we're gonna go on. Is, is so? Is there any? Do you, you want to give a speech, a plea well, to the people of Georgia? Because only people just, of Georgia can vote for you, right? That's right. Because this is a run. This is a run on. This is a run on election. Election, and, and I just want everybody to know. I got Lindsey Graham down with me. I, I, I got hey, uh, I got Teddy 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 Cruz. Teddy Cruz, I like to call it that. <laughs> my boy, the Teddy Cruz. <laughs> what I say now, nah, I want to get out there and vote. Nah, you know, I know, I know they say that the black people ain't voting for Herschel Walker, but I know that's a lie. The same you- people that believe that OJ was innocent is going to vote for Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker, so, when you say your last name, Walker, you kind of sound like Jimmy Walker. What? Hey. That's so dynamite. Bit. I'm saying that's great for you, right? You that's use dynamite. that in your campaign. Jimmy Walker, that's my cousin. So oh, he'll really? be my secretary of head of the head of state. <laughs> 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 I think that job would be dynamite. <laughs> I'm sorry, Herschel. That's, 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 that's my cousin. I got that was I'm a good. laughing bean that just jumped through the office. That's yes, it. yeah. It was, was laughing at you. So, Herschel Walker, what do you think of? The Georgia football team's chances to win oh, the Georgia. championship of the game this year. Well, see, that's that's my whole objective. So I, I'm going when I win the election, I'm gonna go back to the state of Georgia and I'm gonna tell the team, I'm gonna say, hey, you know what y'all need to win this championship? Herschel Walker. And I'm gonna suit back up one more time, oh, baby. No, I'm real. gonna suit back up one more time. I got my cleats. Still, I got the same pair from 1976. 1976. I'm going to put some oil on them. Oil up, them up. And I'm going to get back on the gridiron. Curse them all. I think that was 2023 National Football Champion. And Senator. And House Representative Senator. That's right. Oh, that's I'm going to in the middle of the aisles. I'm on the right side of the aisles. Oh, you yeah. can juke up and down the aisles. All, all over. I'm going to juke all over them. All over their faces. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, good luck oh, to you in the election well. that you already lost. No. And uh, <laughs> we'll we'll see you soon. If you ever want to come back on, just tell Fred. Herschel Walker. Bye bye. Twenty twenty five. United States President. <laughs> All right. Bye. Kick him out, Alan. <laughs> All right. We'll see you. Herschel Herschel Walker. Walker. See ya. All right. <laughs> We're going to take another quick break and then we'll be back with even more of the Black Lincoln Collective podcast. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you some breaking news. This just in. Matt rushed to the hospital for an emergency adedictomy. No longer will he have to live dickless and in shame. As he was being rushed out on the gurney, his last words were that he wants everyone to tune in to the Ryan Hates Everything podcast, now streaming on every major platform. New episodes every Friday. You're listening to the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast.
Welcome back to the Black Lizzie Collective Podcast. Fred. Yeah. Tis the holiday season. Tid it is. Tid it is. In diesel mine. <laughs> nope. I was going to say something else, and I realized halfway through that I couldn't say something else. Guam, <laughs> so, so, Fred, I got to ask you, you know, the, the holiday season brings right. a little bit of something to everybody. Right. For some people, it's, you know, springing up popcorn to put on a Christmas tree. They still do that? I don't think you still do that. Who does that anymore? I don't know. I don't do it. But I assume someone out there does that. Why wouldn't they do it? Because no one has a needle. No one has a needle. No one in the whole world has a needle. (laughs) I know. (laughs) I don't know. I feel like that's the problem. I couldn't do that because that's what would happen is my kids would end up eating the popcorn off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely going to eat it. And like, it was delicious. I'm like, you know, (laughs) there's no string either. (laughs) (laughs) So, well, Fred, let me tell you something. Let me ask you. We're going to talk about Christmas traditions. Okay. And we're going to tell you a little bit about Christmas traditions around the world and in your backyard. Yeah. And see, Alan spelled Christmas. He spelled it right. (laughs) (laughs) I couldn't say it, but you spelled it correctly. I'm proud of you for that. Google spell check. There you go. And uh, he just Googled the word spell check. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) So... (laughs) So, Fred, let me read some of these traditions, and I want to know if you guys celebrate them and or if there are any if, any variations that you may celebrate. For mm-hmm. instance, in Sweden, they have the Yule Goat. He's been a Christmas symbol dating back to ancient pagan festivals. But that's it. They just, they, he's a big goat. They make a huge goat. <laughs> that weighs 3.6 tons and is 42 feet high every year. Oh, out of what? Out of goat stuff. Not, I don't know. <laughs> out of goat. Out of goat. Out of goat. Out of goat. Out of straw. A Lego goat. So you, can even watch, Fred, you can even watch a live stream of them building it all the way until after it's taken down in New Year's. Really? Um, that's right. So that's oh one. Do you guys goodness. do that? Do you do make a goat? No, I don't make a goat out of straw. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you do. Straw goat. So in Japan, Fred, yeah. although Christmas is not a national holiday, no, because only 1% of Christian people in Japan are Christian, apparently. <laughs> Citizens. People are Christian. Only 1% of Japanese people are Christians, is what I was trying to say. <laughs> so people have decided that they're still going to celebrate it unofficially. And the way they do that is everyone goes to their local Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> so the tradition began in 1974 after a marketing campaign called Kurishimasu Niwa Kentucky or Kentucky for Christmas. Kentucky. The fast food chain has maintained its Yuletide popularity, causing some people to order boxes months in advance oh my or stand God. in line for two hours just so they can get their finger looking good food. Now, Fred, I'm, you know what? I'm going to ask Alan this question. Because if I ask you, it could be construed as something that shouldn't oh, be. Oh, that's terrible. Alan, is Kentucky Fried Chicken in any way associated with your Christmas traditions? No. <laughs> Not at all. Same question for Fred. <laughs> I mean, no. Oh, what I'm, do you eat at Christmas? Like, what do you guys. So I, you know, it's like uh, ham. I, I, ham. I would think Fred is a church's, church's fried chicken. I um, do like church. I like yeah. I down the road for my work. Kentucky's not that bad. I'll eat Kentucky. I don't care for Kentucky fried chicken. I would rather have Popeyes. Yeah. Oh, Popeyes, yeah. Yeah. But or like No, no Popeye's chicken, chicken looks funky. Like it don't look like chicken. It's not, not supposed to meat. look like chicken. It's supposed to taste like chicken. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you use the wrong criteria, man. You gotta put it with your eyes. <laughs> eat with your heart, friend. <laughs> So what do you think? So I, I mean, I think Kentucky Fried Chicken. So okay, now they don't sell whole chicken, but do you think Zaxby's is better than Kentucky Fried Chicken? No, no, because they don't have chicken either. They well, have okay, chicken but yeah, that's, right, that's and they're not that good. They, have a weird I mean, they taste. they're okay. But they just dry. Yeah. I they're think they're too dry. Yeah, I think yeah. that they taste like uh, they have like a minty taste to me for some reason. Mm. I don't like it. And then they got that Zach sauce. That shit is disgusting. Yeah, I don't like that either. 
I don't like any of that. So they had now they had a Caribbean jerk sauce, which was excellent, and then they discontinued yeah. it. So mm-hmm. we'll not talk about that. Screw you for that, Zaxby's. That's go. why I'm on it's Team Zaxby's. Popeyes for life. And they took away the Caesar salad. Remember when Hardee's used to have fried chicken? I do remember Hardee's had. I think we talked about that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. chicken, chicken, chicken was good. Over chicken, and hot dogs. chicken and hot dogs. It was chicken and hot dogs and roast beef sandwiches. That was there. Yeah, yeah roast place. beef sandwiches yeah. was where it was at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, you got the roast beef. You were a little was, yeah. Even though they make a good burger, man. Hardee's makes a good burger. But know, they don't they sell one. They don't sell them. Right now, like you, you'll see breakfast packed out, but nobody's is, there. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Nobody's Nobody there for lunch. Yeah, nobody's there for lunch. but every time I go get a burger, Hardy's man, it is awesome. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. That's because they're yeah, the only one they made all day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, yeah, it takes like, you all day to get it. Driving. That's the problem. You know, you stand drive through for 20 minutes for the burger. Yeah, no, that's the thing is every time I go to Hardy's, if there's one person there or there's 30 people there, it's the same amount of time in the drive through, no matter what. Yeah. Like either way, you're it's a, you're like 20 minutes of the drive. Just get yeah. ready for it. You can be the only person there. You can order a drink. Like I just want a drink. And they'll be like, all right, just sit here for 20 or so minutes while we argue minutes. about something. Yeah. Could you pull up? There's nobody behind me. Yeah, I'm like, Why would I pull up? <laughs> <laughs> like, we just want to get the walk in. I just want to do. Anything water. Water. So back to what we're talking about, friend. For Christmas yeah, tradition. Christmas. Not Hardee's. <laughs> not Hardee's, I guess. Hey, that's fine. People love this banter. It's banter. Friend. Yeah. In Finland, you know where Finland is, Fred? Yeah, Look it's out. in the land of in Finland. On Christmas morning, families traditionally eat a porridge made of rice and milk topped with cinnamon, milk, or butter. Whoever finds the almond placed inside the porridge the wins. <laughs> the almond? The, yeah, the almond in the orange. There's the one almond? almond. The orange. There's one almond. You can do a Finnish accent, I don't think. Yeah, there's one. Well, so, well, hold on. You, you Hold on a second. Yeah. So, find the almond? There you go. Where's the <laughs> almond in the pudding? Put the almond in the pudding. Find the almond. Place inside the pudding. Win. <laughs> but some families cheat and hide a few almonds so the kids don't get upset. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's a customary to warm up in the sauna together. <laughs> yeah. He sounded more like Mario. What was, that, what was, Mario, the, what was the hotel? The, the name of that hotel? The uh, I can't the remember. Finished. Anyway. Goat. I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> yeah. So, if Fred, do you guys hide the pudding? I mean, hide the almond in your pudding. <laughs> no, I don't put any nuts in, in porridge and have my children eat. What are like the nuts out? No. So, okay, so I think about like my kids, like you know, and, and like American kids on Christmas morning, and it's like, oh, you know, all these toys, a thousand toys, I got to open up, and candy, and all this shit. Yeah. And then there's these kids who wake up on Christmas morning in Finland, and they're like, "Mommy, I found the almond in the pudding." <laughs> <laughs> you get another almond. You get another. You get a pass. They're so excited about it. Uh. <laughs> okay, now I will say New Zealand. Now they do theirs right. They do Christmas <laughs> right because in New Zealand, it's Christmas falls in the summertime there because uh, you know, okay. it's on the other side or whatever. Right. So they do. They just grill out. Nice. Okay. Which that sounds I, super cool. I could do that. We could do that. Yeah. It said families and friends gather for a casual cookout of shit. They have a New Zealand Christmas tree, which is just like a red tree. <laughs> and they sing carols in, in both in English and in Maori. Maori. Nice. Yeah. So that's, that's cool. That's cool. I would rather do that for Christmas, honestly. Yeah. Like if it was yeah. just like we're having a cookout. Christmas. Yeah. Cookout. That's what we yeah. used to do. That's barbecue. Yeah. yeah, that's what we used to do. We is it warm on Christmas? Yeah, it was like 80 Water. degrees. Yeah. Really? Not, well, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We're, we're, in, yeah, we're in Florida. Florida. Yeah. We're in Florida on Christmas. Yeah, like uh, one year, man. It was awesome. I mean, I was in the lazy river on Christmas Day. You know what I'm saying? Just floating along. You know what I mean? Yeah, because we did the Christmas carol. Slapping Santa do is We go to like, let's say we go. To, we start off at Parker's house. Yeah, and then from Parker's house, we'll go to Dave's house, and then from yeah. Dave's house, we'll go to Fred's house. Yeah. By the time we get to Fred's house. We've already been drinking at Parker's house and at Dave's yeah, house. Yeah. We get to Fred's house and we drink there, and then it right until you get to the end. And then at the end, the last house you get to, they feed you and go fucking house hopping. And yeah, so Paul. then, then you have kids, Fred, and you're like, I'm not going any. Yeah, no, you take the kids stuff. with you and you let them sleep in the car. No, no we tried that. <laughs> That's dude. how they did first it. First year I had kids drive around. The first year I had kids. Yeah. You guys might not know this about me, and uh, Black Link Collective audience, this is shit's about to get real, real. I'm a child of divorce. Oh, oh, can you believe it? I can't believe it either. Where's the sad horns for that, Alan? 
breaks my heart. No. So, but because of that, because I'm a child of, the, I'm a child of multiple divorces. I didn't know if I would have done that. That would have been okay. just inappropriate. Okay. Put it in a post. It is not. It's, 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 there you go. Uh, yeah. 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 So, yeah, it's of the All right. I'm eight tenths of parents. <laughs> but because of that, like, we have grandparents who are divorced, parents who are divorced. There's like six people, like six different yeah. entities that we have to go visit. So our first year with Jack, we did. That's what we did. We, like, went to all six. And it sucked. Yeah. I'm because bad. like everybody's like, why is the baby asleep? And I'm like, because he's a fucking six month old baby. <laughs> he's a baby. Like, I'm sorry that he can't open presents. He's a six month old baby. <laughs> like he can barely, he's going to die at any moment if we let him. Like, <laughs> no. And so I, I put my foot down on oh, Christmas. Baby. Like, yeah, baby, <laughs> open these presents. Open these presents. <laughs> how come the baby doesn't love me? That's one thing that kills me, man. It's like when family sees him and they're like, how come they don't want to give me a kiss? How come I'm like, <laughs> I cannot control the person. I don't know you. This is the yeah, first time you're seen them. Also, yeah, you get all close, way too close, like too yeah. close family. But so yeah, we so we did it. And by the end of the night, I was like, I, I will never do this fucking again. We will turn turn to a different religion if we have to to put right. over. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I'm not doing the six trips in one day again. This is ridiculous. Yeah, that is terrible. So Alan, okay, so Alan's right. Alan, like, good for you, man. You see, he brings value to this show, Fred. Yeah, he does. Don't ever tell him that. Really In Martinique, which is not too far away from Puerto Rico, I guess. I don't know how that works. Saint Martin. But it's in the French Caribbean. Yeah. La Ribote oh. is a long-standing tradition where families visit their neighbors during the Advent and on New Year's Day, bearing holiday foods like yams, Creole pates, and pork stew. They sing Christmas carols together in the early hours of the morning, adding their own Creole verses to the traditional lyrics. See, look at that. They they bury the food? No, they just take it. They visit each other and give yeah, it. Yeah, they visit a few. Oh, kind of like together. what we did. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. In Norway, the Christmas season's called Julborg. <laughs> it begins on December the 3rd, <laughs> filling up local bars and restaurants throughout the month. Okay, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> the, the decorated tree. Eat. Right. Okay. Eat. Okay. Put it, I'm going to say the word as best I can. All right. And I'm going to need you guys to try and figure out what this word is. Okay. Okay. Reason green and scrot. Risen it's a food. Reason green and scrot and grot. Oh, my goodness. I don't it's, know. It's, it's similar to the Finlandian <laughs> people, it's <laughs> hot rice pudding. Hot rice pudding. Hot rice. Nothing better than some good old hot rice pudding. Yeah. Ugh, I can't stand rice pudding. Rice pudding, bread pudding. Ugh. Now, bread pudding. Like bread pudding? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Bread pudding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yum, yum, I, feel yum, like, yum, yum. I feel like I'm an old person. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like cream corn? <laughs> yeah, you got to chew it. You just mush it up in your mouth and yeah. swallow it. Is, you, know what I mean? you don't have to eat it. You have to yeah, it. cream corn. I'm talking to you, Eric. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> so in Austria, Fred, and this is this may be the country that I would emigrate to if I if I had the choice, just based on Christmas traditions. Just on alone. Christmas. Yeah, Alpine countries like Austria have a legend of the devil like creature. I think everybody knows his name, friend of the show, Krampus. Krampus. Oh, Krampus, yeah. Yep. Christmas children have to create a list of their good and bad deeds. Good children are are rewarded with sweets, apples, and nuts. And bad children worry what Krampus might bring into a Christmas morning. Oh my goodness! So, you know, you know what we all know what Krampus does. He throws you in a bag and beats you with sticks. Yeah. You <laughs> yeah. what he does allegedly. No, I wouldn't know. I'm a good boy, dude. Have you been using that this year yet, Fred? What's have you that? been uh, using my good like, boy? Training your kids with Santa Claus. Man, they. I, they started I started today. I started today. It worked. It worked at least <laughs> once. Because I was like, listen, you guys are being jerks to each other. Yeah. Santa knows what's up. And it's like, it's time, man. I said, now's the time of the year when Santa starts taking toys away when you do bad stuff. Right, right. It's too like, close. I was like, yeah, you don't want to mess it up now. Just give me, like, if this buys me two weeks, that's all I can ask for. We put the we put the elf out. And, you oh, know, see, we told I don't him, do that shit. We told him, you know, the elf sees you, what you're doing. He's like, I was like, if you touch him, you can't go back to the North Pole. Like an hour later, my son's got it. My youngest son's got it. He's just like choking him, swinging him by the feet. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, he'll never make it back to Santa. He'll never get the intel. 
<laughs> killed his dreams, man. He was a- <laughs> I destroyed him, Daddy. Now we get all the cousins. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna send more elves to try to recover his body, and I'll kill them too. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Send more elves. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to take down this motherfucker from he the wrote his, yeah, that's, That was the letter he wrote to Sam. <laughs> what do you want, little boy? More elves to play with. <laughs> to death. Yeah. So, well, so uh, obviously, Elf on the Shelf is one of the traditions you guys do. The mm. tradition that I do, Fred, is we don't do anything like really like family tradition or anything like our family tradition is to get into arguments at every holiday (laughs) so we try not to do that if we can help it but uh no we always do we always watch christmas movies of course i think everybody yeah yeah, yeah. so i have to say like i'll just tell you guys straight up i cannot go through a christmas season without watching what i consider to be the greatest christmas movie of all time and alan is going to probably spoil it and tell you what it is for me but fred let me tell you a story (laughs) <laughs> a little movie called Jingle All the Way. <laughs> the greatest man. Christmas story that's ever been told. I do it may not be the greatest one. film, yeah. but it's the greatest Christmas story. <laughs> 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 you can't put magic. Like, it's hard to capture the magic of Rocket Man or <laughs> of <A> Turbo Man. <laughs> Turbo Man. <laughs> Turbo Man. <laughs> Turbo Man. <laughs> Turbo the magic of and, Turbo and, Sinbad. and Sinbad. Sinbad. Yeah, that's all the best part of that movie is the creepy ass uh, Phil Hartman. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hang, like, I love it. I love that movie, it's man. Balfazar. That is my yeah. That's definitely my favorite Christmas movie. What do you guys? Uh, yeah. Fred's is it's a wonderful life. No, I've never yeah. seen it. Alan's I've never seen it. <laughs> you never seen it's a, it's a Wonderful Life? No, I haven't. I haven't. No, I haven't seen that that Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. I ain't seen that. You ever seen Miracle on Thirty Fourth? Have you no. seen? Uh, I'm trying to think what that other one is. I can't think of it. I've seen the classic Scrooge. Uh, okay, yeah. like Scrooge or like yeah, the uh, Christmas a uh, Christmas Carol. Okay. the original. You know, what I'm lame, <laughs> lame. Uh, so. So, what is your favorite Christmas movie, then? My favorite Christmas movie is uh, A Christmas Story. Okay, with Ralph. Uh, with Ralph. Yeah, okay, that's, yeah, that's Ralph the movie Ralph. I was trying to think of. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my favorite Christmas. Story. You guys watch it every year? It, it comes on like repeat on some channel, doesn't it? Like, yeah, TBS like TBS or, or USA. Day, it comes on on TV. yeah, twenty four hours. Yeah, yeah, twenty four hours of Christmas story. hours. Yeah, well, you're gonna shoot your eye it's out. It's great, man. Like, it's like movie, I said. Yeah. I'm, I've said that before, like Christmas Day, you know, we're so busy running around and everything. I'll, I'll just leave it on and come in right, and watch catch it. Bits. As it goes, yeah, yeah. The over there. Uh, <laughs> that's the way to do it, though. Well, that right. one and uh, Home Alone are like the two yeah. that, that we got to watch every year. Oh, we saw, ugh, we watched uh, Home Sweet Home Alone. <laughs> Wait, what? what is that? Home Sweet Home Alone? Which should be... Is that the newest Home Alone? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one with like the other kid, like not obviously the one with... It's the little ago. chubby British kid. Yeah. In this one. Tough. Yeah, it was so bad. It was so <laughs> It just didn't terrible. make any sense. You know, no. Like there's so many movies. Like Home Alone, the original one, makes sense. They, perfect they, sense. they threw in that kid in perfect sense. Exactly. Yeah. Right? It couldn't have made more sense. It just it was too chaotic, too many kids to keep count of. Right, and then that and one kid swooped in. Right, that okay. one right. kid, yeah. yeah. So Joe I could see that as a parent. I could see that happen. Yeah, and, I could see it happen. But if I, but also as a parent, I would never put myself in a situation where there are like fourteen kids. Yeah, and if no. I do, it's because I'm an idiot. Like not at my house. Yeah, dude. fourteen kids in my house with all their parents and shit. How Mm-mm. how is that going to work? That's not going to work. There's no, no. way. So, I wonder, but I wonder what Kevin's dad did for a living. I think he was like, I don't know. He had a lot of money though, because yeah, he was a lot of money, money man. He, he was took like a all those, or something. He took all those Probably people banker, yeah. To, yeah. to Paris. Yeah, yeah. You know? He paid for all that. that. You know what I'm that's believable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Then he paid for the the Waldem Astoria and all that the 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 hotel. Right. And yeah, the, oh, the whole everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> yeah, <it's> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the new one is not believable, and that's mm-hmm. the whole thing. Is like they, no. like it could have been easily solved by by just communicating a little. Bit. Yeah, that's it. 
All like, Kevin was, was screwed. He, there was nothing he could do. Everyone disappeared. <laughs> there were no cell phones. There was no way to get in touch with anyone. Right. So like, okay, he's living his life. He's doing what he's got to do. And right. then you, and you're like, just, just talk. Just talk to just, a second. Just go somebody. Yeah. What yeah, are you doing? Just call somebody. Do anything. Like, you know yeah. what everyone wants is, kid? Like, damn. You know, you're not going to get in trouble. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. I mean, well, and that's the thing. Like, you're really going to get in trouble. What's, like, kids have to think, what's worse? Like, out of these yeah. situations. The police coming and helping me, or like me destroy everyone thing and everyone else. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the uh, Christmas vacation. Christmas, okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Yeah, you, yeah. that's vacation. a great movie, too, man. That's oh, one yeah. of the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Christmas vacation. Yeah, I like the Christmas vacation. Yeah. It, had a great it makes sense, you know, you, the dad trying to just do it right. And nothing yeah, going, nothing. Well, that's to... how I feel on it. <laughs> yeah, Those the Christmas movies tree, are the raccoon. <laughs> they encompass everything that that parenting feels like when you have kids and you try to do anything. Yeah, yeah. It's like my wife would be like, "Why are you mad?" And I'm like, "I'm just trying to have a good time." <laughs> like, I'm just trying to make sure no one fights a bear at the zoo, or climbs into the fucking cage with the monkeys. Like, I'm sorry, I have a good time by no one dying. <laughs> you know, like, if we don't have to go to the doctor, that. good time. You know, it's just it's perfect because the light scene, like for example, that's something that would happen to me. Oh yeah, you know, I plug yeah, it in, yeah. and somebody turn the switch off, and it'd be like, oh. yeah. you go back and try it all again, and then somebody turns the switch back on, and be like, yeah, exactly yeah. what it's like. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so out of our three, and I already know the answer to this. I mean, Jingle All the Way is obviously the best Christmas movie of all time, uh, but no, it, outside of Jingle All the Way, which one do you think is better though? Between Fred and Alan. Outside Taylor. of Jingle All the Way. Jingle all the you don't way. want you yours in it? You know? <laughs> it transcends. I know it's number one already. So I don't want to. I don't Art is subjective. No, Art no. But movie. actually, I have to I have to go with Parker because Jingle All the Way. I mean, the, the Santa fight. and Yeah, 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 yeah it was yeah. great, man. You it's know, a great it, movie. It is. It really yeah. is. It's, I, it's I better know. than what it should be. It, yes, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't get how it happened that way. Yeah, yeah, it did. It, it did. It, it, it turned it. out to be a good excuse. Was that Phil Hartman's last movie? I don't think it was his last movie, but it was one of his last movies. One of his last movies. Yeah. That was a whole thing. Why are you talking about death again, Fred? You're always talking about mean stuff. Yeah. That one was what his wife shot him in the face. Yes. Cold blood. Why am I laughing when I say that? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. You, know, that, you know what? I'm going to file that, Fred, oh, into Parker's Regret Corner. <laughs> corner of corners my brain of regret. where I regret all the things that I have ever said. Yeah, that's happened. your corners of regret. Right. And this week, Fred, on, on not, not, not only am I putting in the <laughs> image of Phil Harmon getting shot in the head, but also I'm putting it in my fantasy football performance in my <laughs> league at work this year. Oh. So, Fred, Fred, and all listeners all around, I'll update you. But I'll be doing stand-up comedy, forced to be doing stand-up comedy very soon in our great state of Greenville, South Carolina, somewhere. That's not a state. Great state of Greenville, South Carolina. <laughs> in our, in a great state of deliberation that I'm going to need to be to do this. All right, Herschel. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I lost. I'm the worst person at it. And it breaks my heart because, you know, I'm usually pretty good at it. Is your league so, over with? It's well, it's over as far as I'm it's, concerned. Yeah. Like uh, it's over for me. <laughs> One game left, and the, the next worst person has two game lead on me. So mm. we're done. But uh yeah, so I'll be doing stand up. Of course, we'd love to have everyone come visit at the comedy zone in Greenville. And I'll let you know what day. You can come watch me embarrass myself with sports talk. Sports sports. Man, the- Bad the pet to tank Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Bad to tank Parker. You, you take yeah, it on tank. purpose just so you can do the comedy. I don't want to do the comedy. Though. Yeah, you do. I don't like being funny. This is painful. I don't like me. me. <laughs> me every week trying to do this show. Oh my god! Here we go again. <laughs> just like our buddies from Ryan hates everything. You know, normally they like when you talk to them off camera, they're just hugs and. Right, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sweet, sweet everything's, and they're just the nicest guys in the world. And they get on camera, they're dicks. Same thing. When I get off camera, I go back to being an accountant. <laughs> an accountant. <laughs> and yeah. I don't fuck anyone. A bean <laughs> counter. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> uh, it was a TBS report, Johnson. Time. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that means. Time to count the beans. So, Fred, now yes. I would like to introduce to the show 
a, a dear friend of ours who made his debut last week. We'll see if Alan's ready for this or not. Fred. Um, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's see what Alan does. We're just going to sit <laughs> in the radio bubbling. silence. Yeah, I, don't know. I heard bubbling. Somebody's stomach bubbling. Um, oh, no. Is it Freddie? <laughs> well, I didn't know if we wanted to introduce. We have two, we have two more guests this week, and it's very uh-oh. important. And that's that's the correct one, Alan. So please welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen, our old friend and yours, ladies and gentlemen. It's detachable robot penis. Uh, hello, hey, detachable robot penis. Thank you so much for joining us. Did you know you have the honor of being on the same show that Herschel Walker was on this week? Oh, that makes me hard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, get it, get it, get it. Hard, <laughs> hard. Yeah. Right, got it. Hard. Yes. Got it. DRP. That's DRP. Me. He's got yeah. the drip, literally yeah. and figuratively. <laughs> yes, I got the drip. So what? <laughs> so, the robot penis. Obviously, we brought you up on last week's show. We're so glad you you heard about us. We tweeted you out, and you came yeah. to visit us. And I hope you can come back more often. Uh, but detachable robot penis. I know though that you said you had a sponsor of of your segment that you wanted to talk about. So feel free to pitch them. Yes, uh, I have a sponsor. I finally got sponsored by somebody. <laughs> they said they would sponsor me because I am long and hard. <laughs> uh, that was stupid. <laughs> not, not as good as the first one, Robot Penis. No, it was not. It was not. They all can't be I, ready. We're being sponsored by American National Cattle Women, American National Cattle Women in Association, with a tremendous history of successful and positively promoting beef and beef industry. Wait, so, wait a minute. Wait, what? So you're you're sponsored by... The American, American Cattle National Women. Cattle Women. The American National Cattle Women Association. Cattle Women. Yes. Yeah. It's the, We're it's all about the beef. The those cowgirls. You get it? The beef. The beef. Yeah. The beef. Robot penis. Fred, yeah. You know. <laughs> like a wiener, Fred. It's a wiener. Yes. A wiener. You, know, <laughs> you know. I have a confession so, to make. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, you have a confession. Uh oh. I do have a confession to make. What you got? DRP corner. Yeah. I was at your colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> That's yes. how we convinced him to go on the show. To get yes. on the show this yeah. I was the one who did it. I was like, ready? Go to sleep. <laughs> Here I go. Dashable penis in your ear. You're a dirty boy. So, that's for my penis. Again, thank you for joining us. Um, are you running for any kind of Senate seat anywhere? Just out of curiosity. I, I really need to win. I am planning to run in Georgia <laughs> next year, next time. Next time, I guess. Or shall worker. <laughs> or shall waker, yeah. Yeah. Or shall waker. Or shall waker. Yeah. Or shall waker. That's French. He uh, made a deal with uh, Biasimo, so I think he's going to win because Biasimo is a man of his word. He already, lo- he already lost the natural row up. He, he lost. Sorry to have to tell you that. It's over. Oh, my balls. Okay. <laughs> Are you not connected <laughs> to the to the internet, robot penis? He doesn't no. have Wi-Fi. <laughs> I don't have Wi-Fi. Are you Bluetooth? Like, no. <laughs> I got blue, blue balls. balls. <laughs> Blue balls. There it is. I said it. He, did say, he said it first. I said it. So okay, well, a detachable robot penis. Since you were there, do you have any update on Freddie's butthole for us? We'd like to get the inside <laughs> scoop. Yes, it was. I was there, and then I was not there, and then was I was there. It, was it Ruby? I, it was. What, was it what like the, that? Very, was very, was, very was very that? Very very <laughs> that's what that was like. Uh, you didn't Hello. get no shit on you, did you? You didn't get no shit on you, did you? Oh, no he got some shit. <laughs> he got some no shit comment. on him. No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> 
compute. I'm sure no. <laughs> it does not compute. Syntax error. Syntax error. Uh, all right, error code 303. Like you're yeah, you're forbidden. Information uh, forbidden. Yes. Oh, there he goes. He's farting. So robot penis, <laughs> other than the uh, uh, detachable, sorry, detachable robot penis. That's right. Uh, other than the National Cattle Women's Association, is there anything else you would like to promote or talk about this week? Yes. I want to talk about Ryan hates everything. Oh, we a big fan of the show? Yes. I'm also part of Steve's team. <laughs> Steve, 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 you're on Team Steve as well. No, Team Steve. Team Steve does not compute. Detachable robot penis. You got a lot going on, buddy. I know you're a busy guy. I do. I'm always coming and going. (laughs) I like that he's a robot with a sense of humor, friend. (laughs) The AI is going too far. We've lost lost the war. All of our robot penises are dead. Hatching and taking over the world. Yes. All right, D- Elon Musk. <laughs> All right, DRP. Well, uh, if you have anything else to say about the American National Cattle Women's Association, <laughs> now is your time. Yes. Say yes to beef. <laughs> yes Eat to beef. the beef. Eat put the beef. Put the meat in your mouth. Hey, Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Put the meat in your mouth. I'm a robot. I don't have meat. I'm not made out of meat. It's the metal. It's the metal. The not metal. the beef. It's oh, it makes me funny. Yeah. It makes me laugh when any of our guests call you out, friend, and just ask you a question. <laughs> what I do? I don't know. I don't know what you I do. Don't know what I always do. entertaining. I don't know. Like, hey, does it? When DRP does it? What's right. the deal with the, the background? The VCO. That was your mother. <laughs> oh no. You are going to be swimming with the fishes. <laughs> are you waterproof to attach? I guess you got to have to be waterproof. Don't yes, you I am stainless steel, titanium, titanium. Titanium. Titanium balls. That's right. Nice and shiny. Vibranium. Vibranium nuts. Vibranium. Yes, vibranium nuts. Just with a little bit of blue tooth. A little bit of blue tooth, too. Blue balls and blue teeth. Yes. All right, right, DRP. Uh, Fred, unless you got something else for him, we're going to let him go back to doing whatever he does. Hey, Freddy. You can limp off. Hey, Freddy. Yeah, DRP. I'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> the next five years. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. More like five months. I'll be back. Yes. Oh, that, look at that. Terminator. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at I'll be back. That's whose dick it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the Terminator's it's dick. The D1000. It's the D1000. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Sarah Connor? <laughs> oh, all, right. all right, all right. You're gross, detachable robot penis. I don't know if we're going to have you back on. We uh, will. No. We will. Don't worry. Back okay. on and back in. All right. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. See you. I See you. you come out. He loves you, Fred. I love you, Freddie. You guys bonded over your How could you not? I know. With an anus <laughs> like that. I know. I not. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye-bye. He's not leaving. Fred. I'm not leaving you, Freddy. No, <laughs> no, Freddy. No, no. Fred for life. Okay, I think we kicked him out. Thank you, producer, for kicking him out of this. Wrap it up, ridiculous, Fred. I can't believe that he you made friends with him. I did, and he man. loves Ryan. It's everything. So I'm check back. Out. Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you can't get rid of him. I can't get it off. I can't get it off. <laughs> Only that he was just like, bah, 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 bah. like yo. That's awesome, did, you, did you see that uh, video where that little girl got attacked by that raccoon? No. What oh. Oh, oh my god, dude! It doesn't sound funny. 
It's so she funny. okay? She's fine. She's oh, fine. She's, she's got to get rabies shots. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what <laughs> but, happened? Like, her, she was right. going outside to wait on the bus and walked out the door. The raccoon got on the leg. It oh, was like... Yes. The, one, the mom kicked the raccoon's ass? Yeah. And then the mom came and snatched it up oh, and wow. fucking like slung that bitch. Yeah, that's what you got to do. You got to swing him around and throw him. Yeah. <laughs> the raccoon, <laughs> don't, the raccoon just don't care. got to launch it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, uh, our guest is no longer here, so thank you. Uh, yeah, you got to throw it out. That's crazy, dude. No, I she, didn't see that. She, she like picked the daughter up and was grabbing the raccoon. She had the like daughter like upside down. Yeah. Trying to grab the raccoon off a leg. You know what I'm saying? What that girl do to that raccoon, man? Nothing. They, they said it was probably rabbit. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Well, that would make sense. Yeah, because it attacked the guy. Yeah. Right. Usually so yeah. the mom got a scratch like she on her arm, and down. then little girl got a bite on her ankle. So, yeah, they yeah. got to take rabies shots for like the ah, next yeah, five years away, right? Like, terrible, but that's crazy, dude. Well, hey, yeah, that's yeah. better. Have you ever seen what rabies does to a person? Yeah. Like, uh-huh. I, watched, I don't think I, I think I read an article about it, and it was like, it was very gross. Yeah, and no, I rapid. watched it. They they've got they one did, like it's okay, old man. school. It's like real old yeah, school, yeah. like Russian, like dude, like, rainy. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's shaking his shit. That was gross. Yeah, man, that freaked me out. They wouldn't drink water. They were, like, yeah, he can't to drink water it. in his mouth. He can't like, drink yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. It's like you allergic to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your body won't even intake the water. So what is dehydration? Yeah, yeah well, that's what I'm, it is, pretty they much. Have now that they, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, they got it now, but they had it then. But they was just trying to study the effects and what it would do to you. <laughs> so they I, just I, got I one it, dude. It was like, yeah, oh. they did. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that like cold blooded shit they used to do back yeah, then. That's true. Still do. You know what I mean? Well, got to do that for science. For science. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For science. For science. Science. <laughs> Kill Jim. Yeah, for I mean, motion. Yeah. <laughs> they blinded me with science. What? Science. They blinded me with science. <laughs> <laughs> They're blinding us. We're blinding ourselves by saying something ever. <laughs> that is my uh, speaking science! of science. There you go. Trust <laughs> <laughs> DRP didn't have anything to say about science since he is made of science. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think the RP is gone. He's gone somewhere. Science. Something else to do. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be back, Fred. Don't worry. Sneaking up behind you. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be coming Where's around. Down your neck. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think it's about time for us to get on out of here for the week. Uh, Fred, you got anything else you want to say to the people? Hey man, just have a Merry Christmas. Well, we'll see you again before we'll the end. Again before. But, yeah, we got like yeah. two more shows. Before we'll before. see you again. But and we'll just, do our, our post Christmas spectacular. Enjoy your pre Christmas. Right. Pre Christmas. Live it yeah. up. Get some rest before the big big day comes. Big day. What the big day, man? What talking about? It's, it's, well, it's not a big, big day, day for you, Alan. You don't give a shit about that. No, 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 I, I just enjoy the two days off. Hey, yeah, but it's a lot of work for parents. There's a lot of it stuff is, I got to put together. And, and, uh, I, paid, I, really, I paid my dues, man. I know, I know. Mm-hmm. I ain't doing it no I more. I did my crime. Yes, right. I did my I time. Did, did my time. <laughs> and my crime. Yeah. Allegedly, I've done my Allegedly. crime. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right, Alan, you got anything you want to say? Oh, Alan, by the way, uh, Alan celebrated a birthday this week, Fred. Oh, happy birthday, man. Oh, happy hey, birthday to him. Happy, I want to make sure to call him that. Yeah. And how did you celebrate, Alan? Did you uh, stay at home and do nothing? Exactly. There you go. I stayed yeah, home and watched football. 23 go. never looked better on you. No, it right. didn't, man. I just sat there and <laughs> actually I laid on the couch and watched football. There you go. Best day yeah, of his life. like a perfect birthday. Yeah. yeah. Best day of his life. All right, guys. Well, guys, say goodnight to everybody. We'll be back man, next week. You got anything for the people? I don't even fuck say okay. uh, Yeah, I gotta. Uh, I gotta say, uh, yeah, I love my brother Eric. I love you. Oh, yeah, I do. There love you Eric, go. Too. Love you, Eric. And also mm-hmm. Christmas. Don't forget, if you want to send us stuff for Christmas, you should- yes, oh, if God. you want to send us stuff for Christmas, you can <laughs> mail it down. Uh, yeah, just or just it. send us on Patreon and send us Christmas presents. You know, please. you can send it. You know, <laughs> all I want for Christmas is one Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> is what one person to give one dollar. Pity, one pity. Give a pity. I don't care. Oh, I'll put a penny. I'll put. You know what? I will put a penny tear up just to see if it happens. 
the penny <laughs> tier, you get exactly what you already get for free. <laughs> but you get to pay a penny for it. <laughs> so you're funding the show. I got oh. something for Fred. Oh, oh. <laughs> he might be our first patron. <laughs> you already patronized your butthole, Fred. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Well, everybody knows. Seriously, if you don't, if we don't hear from us again before Christmas, have a Merry Christmas or a Happy Holidays. If you're a Jewish person, have a great Hanukkah. If you're uh, mm-hmm. an African person, have a great Kwanzaa. If Nobody you're something else, that. have a great something. What was that? <laughs> Nobody celebrates that. Kwanzaa? Nobody celebrates Kwanzaa. Nobody celebrates Kwanzaa. Yeah, Kwanzaa. We yeah. did the whole thing on Kwanzaa last year, remember? Yeah, but nobody celebrates it. Yeah, they do. I celebrate mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. I I mean, man, any day I'll I can celebrate. get a day off, I'll, I'll celebrate. celebrate. I'll celebrate anything. You give me a day off, I'll celebrate yeah. it. Okay. Well, it was Kwanzaa's what, December 26th through like January 3rd, right? Yeah. We, something like that. Yeah. How do I know? How is that I remember, but I can't remember like that where I put crazy. my keys. <laughs> like, I don't know where those motherfuckers are. But well, I actually, no, nah, I ain't saying it. <laughs> no, I don't, I'm more in touch with the black community than I am with my keys. I put the keys. I'm, I'm in the <laughs> I put them there, I'd remember. Yes, you would know it. Probably. If you put them in there. At first, anyway. And I, what I would do is I would remember after I pooped, I'm like, shit, I just flushed my keys down the toilet again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, <laughs> see you next, everybody. We'll see you next week. All right. We'll see you later. Bill season's greetings. Bill. Bye-bye. 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 Bill. Bye-bye. Bill's above. Wait. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to call anybody out. Uh, Wait, hey, somebody call me? Oh, no! I'm back, yeah. Season's greetings from my family to yours. Do you celebrate Kwanzaa, Satan? I celebrate everything. Good to know. Do you know our... You know, technically, I don't celebrate Christmas. Every day is a holiday. Oh, because uh, OG just kicked my ass once. I don't like it. I don't like it. Dude, are you saying are you excited for the new Christmas movie, uh, Satan that's coming out? Was it a uh, Violent Night? Yes, Violent Night. yes. Dude, that shit looks awesome. Yes, yes. yes. Santa have a deal. Like you know that, that, right? <laughs> and I heard you guys talking about Krampus. He's my yep. cousin. Yeah, he's my cousin. <laughs> I'll that drink him, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's all right. You know, he only comes back. out at Christmas. I don't understand when you know you need to be hanging out. Lazy. And he doesn't. Laziness. Yeah, and he doesn't have a sexy mustache like me. You know? he, I don't know. From some of the pictures I've seen, his mustache is pretty good. Go fuck yourself. All right. <laughs> good night, Satan. Good night, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry whatever's. Merry Christmas, we'll see you next everybody. Week. And my family is yours. Which is a big ass family, if you know what I mean. are laughing <laughs> and we are very good friends <laughs> good buddy sharing a special moment <laughs>